Hello, my name is Lukas Wozniak, and I'm the designer of The Witcher Old World, a brand new adventure board game that's been co-published by Go On Board and Teda Project Red. In my previous two videos, I have discussed uh, playable characters and deck building mechanics in the game, so go ahead and watch them if you haven't yet. Uh, watching those videos will help you understand the combat in the game before we get, get deeper into that topic in today's video. In The Witcher Old World, you take a role of a Witcher traveling a continent and making a name for yourself. Uh, you will increase your attributes, you will make potions and earn trophies by killing monsters or by winning brawls against Witcher from different schools. Uh, the first player to gain a set amount of trophies wins the game. The most common way to earn trophies is by slaying monsters. On the game board that we will show you pretty soon, not now, not yet, uh, there are always three monsters uh, present and each one is located on the outskirts of a different city. In the standard box, monsters will be marked by tokens in the deluxe box, each monster has their own unique miniature. During your turn, if you enter a location uh, where the monster is lurking, you can either choose to fight him or continue on your travels. And uh, throughout the continent, there are people willing to pay you for slaying these monsters. And after killing each one, you will proudly carry the trophy you collect. Before starting a fight, you'll need to prepare. One way uh, to do this is by collecting a trail token. Uh, these represent the act of investigating and studying a monster, allowing you to learn more about it. You can start a fight uh, without the trail token, but that puts you at a disadvantage. I'll show you how to obtain them in future video. Now let's take a look at a full monster fight. Uh, here I will fight a harpy, uh, one of the lower threat monsters roaming the old world. And uh, the harpy's card have, has some important information we should look at, including the monster level, uh, the monster's uh, life pool and the monster's special ability. On the back of the card, you will see the Harpy's Trophy, uh, but you need to kill the monster before you can claim it. The player sitting to your right will control the monster, and before the fight, uh, they draw the number of monster fight cards equal to the monster's life pool, shuffles them, and keeps them face down. When you start to fight, you will uh, have some cards in your hand, but not a full hand of cards, since traveling across the map costs cards too. And the hand you have uh, at the beginning of the fight is called the starting hand. The cards you already use for traversing the continent and taking actions, they form your discard pile. As a fight begins, you shuffle your discard pile with your deck, and this total represents your life pool, and you always start off a battle at full health. For this fight, I already have a trail token, so I will go first. If I started a fight without it, the monster will start the fight. Uh, I have two cards in my hand. I can also use my specialty for my Witcher from the a cat school. Uh, it's called speed, and it allows me at this level to draw three cards keep one of them and put the remaining two in any order uh, on the top, at the top of the deck. My specialty is used once before my first turn, so now I can take my full turn and go through a few easy steps. First, if I want to, I can use any trophies or potions I might have. I am going to uh, skip on that this turn. And the second step, of my fight turn is crucial. I play card combo from my hand representing combat actions I will take. The first card I play can be out of any color, but each following card has to be combined by a card extension. I will start the fight by playing a uh, single card and dealing one damage to the monster. 
In the third step, I resolve the cards I have played. Uh, there are few symbols that you will have to learn on these cards, but for now, uh, remember that there are cards that will inflict damage and a, a shield symbol that will uh, restore the shields you have lost. And for each damage I inflict to the monster, it loses one card from the top of their deck. So the Harpy has one wound, and now I can proceed to the fourth final step of my turn. And here I draw cards. I draw cards equal to my combat level, uh, which can be increased or decreased by cards I have played in my combo this turn. Uh, some cards will uh, slow the enemy down, allowing me to draw more cards and be more prepared for future turns. And some of the attacks will slow me down, stronger attacks will slow me down, and that way I draw less cards and I may be less prepared for future turns. And here the Harpy is using its flight and that's why my combat is lowered to zero during my first turn. So I don't draw any cards from my deck right now. So now it's time for the Harpy to attack. It can either charge or bite and the player uh, handling the monster will choose which one to use. The attacks for charge and bite are different but overall balanced. So you can either choose one because you prefer it or you can observe uh, what cards have already been drawn and choose the attack type based on that. Let's say the player handling the monster decided to choose the charge. The harpy was flying and then it dives down to attack me. We re reveal the card and the charge says that I take three damage. So I absorb two of them by decreasing my shield level and anything above uh, goes to my deck. So I lose one card from the top of my deck that goes uh, to my face up discard pile and it's a good one. And if my deck was empty, any further damage would mean that I have to lose a card from my hand and that would put me in a real trouble. So now it's my second turn and I will keep my potions for now, for later, and I will play a simple combo starting with a counter attack and using Axie Sign. This allows me to inflict one damage, restore one shield and Axie slows or confuses the enemy and I have time and draw the top card from my discard pile. And now I draw three cards based on my combat and it's time for the monster attack. So the Harpy uh, took one damage and if there were three players, now the, the third one would choose whether the Harpy charges or bites, so all players are involved. And let's say this time it will bite me. And it's a special attack. Uh, it only inflicts one damage, so I lose the shield I have regained, but it lowers my combat level, so I lose my attribute, which, which hurts a lot. So now is my third turn and I will begin by uh, drinking a Swallow Potion. This gives me one shield and I will draw one less card in the last step of my turn. Uh, because I have Alchemy level of two, I could drink two potions uh, during the whole fight. Now I will create a, a stronger combo, which I've been preparing for that allows me to inflict five damage. I slow the enemy down uh, and block the attack with Quen, use offensive art, and that opens me up to attack with a strong rending blow. Five damage total and I draw two extra cards at the end of my turn. So we discard one, two, three, four, five, I draw two cards, plus two, minus one, so three. Now, the Harpy only has two cards left, and for the Harpy's turn, uh, let's say it will bite again. And it's a strong one. Uh, I take five damage right now. 
So I will lose one shield, two cards from my deck, and now I have to discard two more cards from my hand. But luckily, the monster has only one card left. So in my final turn, I can play both of my cards in a combo. Play Urden, that opens me up to uh, play a fast attack, a quick slash. I inflict two damage, which is more than enough. And I have managed to kill the Harpy, and I'm victorious. Now I take coin as a reward, and flip the Harpy's card. And the back of the card has a description of the fight. The beast attack fiercely from the air, staying far from reach. Heightened senses and your training allowed you to fight the right time and put the monster on the ground. Harpy's claws on your belt will be a reminder of your great skill. And there is also a special trophy ability on the card. I place it underneath my player board and I will be able to use it uh, in the future. Now I would move up on a trophy track showing everybody at the table that I am a closer, a step closer to winning the game, but it also means that I would suffer fatigue. I would have to go through my whole deck and remove uh, one from the game completely and then shuffle the deck back. After the fight I discard the potions I have used, uh, lose the trail token, put the monster away and normally I would go into step three of my turn. I would draw three cards and purchase a new one from the available pool. But because the fight is over, let's uh, stop for now and also talk about a different way of fighting. When I travel across the continent and I come across a wizard from a different school, I can place a dice poker with them or challenge them to a brawl. A witcher versus witcher fight is similar to a monster fight with few key differences. Uh, first of all, all other witchers that are not involved in the fight may place a wager and may decide to bet on the attacker or the defender um, trying to observe who has a bigger chance to win. Uh, secondly, the uh, player who has initiated the fight is called the attacker. They go first and the player who uh, was attacked as the defender and they will go second. Following the fight, the winner will get gold and the amount of gold up for grabs depends on the uh, renown of the participating witchers. So um, it grows while uh, the game progresses and depending on the game phase, when the fight breaks out, it could be either one, two or three gold. And in addition, if the attacker won the fight, they take a trophy, not the monster trophy, but the trophy of the uh, witcher school of the defender. Fighting is a big part of being a witcher and thus a big part of the gameplay in the old world. And the rules might seem tricky at first, but uh, once you get through your first fight, you understand how everything flows and uh, you can try the more you play to make best decisions while using your potions, your trophies, and especially while building your deck. Each monster is different, and each time they will attack differently, and most importantly, in each game, you will take a different path to building your Witcher, so there are never two identical fights, and each one is exciting, both to play and to watch. That's it for today. Uh, remember to follow the Kickstarter page and I'll see you next time.